Birdie's Passenger, written by Joey Turner. One wet and misty evening, Birdie the Bus was making his last run of the day near Thompson's branch line, but he did not enjoy it at all. The mist was so thick that he had to drive very slowly. And the rain made the road wet and slippery which meant Birdie had to go even slower. Worst of all, the bus stops were mostly empty, so there were hardly any passengers for him to pick up. Birdie couldn't blame them. Why would anyone want to be out in the rain? He himself wished he could be back in his nice dry shed. At the next empty bus stop, he spoke to his driver. Please sir, can we go home now? There's no one out today. Sorry, Birdie. We have to go all the way back to Farquhar before we can pack it in. We can't let down the passengers. What passengers? Birdie was very cross indeed. Because of the fog, Birdie couldn't admire the beautiful countryside. And thanks to the rain, Birdie couldn't honk hello to his friends as he passed by their houses. He was cold, wet, and miserable, but he knew he had to carry on. At last, Bertie was approaching the only station left before Farquhar. His miserable journey was almost over. But as Birdie passed through the station, he looked up ahead and gasped. Up ahead, a strange pink figure appeared through the mist. As Birdie rolled forward, he could see it was actually a young woman wearing a bright purple dress and a big floppy hat standing all alone by the tracks in the rain. Birdie was confused, but thought it was best to stop for her anyway. Good evening, ma'am. Do you need a lift to the station? The woman said nothing, but nodded quietly. Great! Just show my driver your ticket, and you can climb aboard and... The woman frowned sadly. Oh, you don't have a ticket, do you? The woman shook her head no. Now Bertie was worried. He knew he wasn't allowed to carry passengers without tickets, but he couldn't bear the idea of leaving the woman alone in the freezing rain. Sir, we can't just leave her stranded out here. You're right, Bertie. You know what? It's our last run of the day. Let's give her a lift, free of charge. Bertie was delighted. The woman climbed aboard, and Bertie cheerfully set off for Farquhar again. It didn't matter how wet or cold he was, Bertie was determined to help someone who needed it the most.
At last, they pulled into Farquhar Station. Thomas should be along soon. Then he'll take care whatever you need to go, ma'am. The woman still didn't say anything. She just smiled and mouthed, thank you, to Bertie. And Bertie drove slowly home, feeling proud after a hard day's work. By the next morning, the mist and rain had faded away. Thomas came to visit Bertie before starting work. Heh, <laughs> you think all that fog and rain never happened, eh? Ugh, tell me about it. I'm just glad it's over. Yesterday was miserable. Freezing rain, gunky fog, and barely any passengers at the station. Same here. I'm at least happy I helped that poor lady to the station. What lady? A young woman wearing a bright purple dress and a big floppy hat. I brought her to Farquhar. Didn't you see her? I didn't see any woman like that at the station. Annie, Clarabelle, did you see anyone like that? I can't say I know, Thomas. Nor can I. Although I once saw a man in a bright purple headband. See, there wasn't any woman like that at the station, Bertie. W w what? But, but, but that can't be. My driver and I found her on the side of the road. We drove her all the way here. How could you have seen her if she... To this day... No one knows what became of Birdie's mysterious passenger, where she came from, or if she was ever really there. She just disappeared with the mist and the rain. <laughs>